Angel Michael says he has really urgent messages for you of what's coming in for you fast. And this is coming in over the next four to six months. This is going to come in fast. It could come in sooner, but this is over the next four months. Four to six months, this is what's coming in for you fast. These are really important Archangel Michael messages. I'm so excited to bring these to you today. Hello and a welcome if you're new here and welcome back to all my returning subscribers, friends, soul family. I'm so happy to have you here. My name is Luna. I am your Oracle of Starlight. I channel messages from Archangel Starvings and Highest Light Spirit Guides for your greatest good. I was sent by the Council of Light and I'm here to get you to your highest timeline that golden timeline. So if you're interested in anything like that, please go ahead and hit like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I come out with a new reading. Not only does this help me to pick up on your energy so I can channel for you more directly, but it helps me to share my light and love with the world for which I am ever so grateful. I will have links below in the description if you would like a personal reading, a link to my manifest frequency channel where I put out frequency music and subliminals to help you manifest your ultimate reality, or there'll be links to the cards and things like that. So you can go ahead and check that out down below. Now today we have three cards to choose from, and y'all excuse me, I'm going to open my side up. I, I'll let you know we're listening to the lovely sounds of the, uh, the desert here in Santa Fe. The winds are very windy, so I'm sorry if there's any noise. We were thinking about recording outside, but it's too windy and it would be too noisy, but we do have to have the windows open. So we're, we're trying to negate the noise as much as possible, but I'll just let you know that you might be hearing some wind. It's really, really windy today, really windy. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna. I went ahead and cleansed with the Palo Santo, you guys, and I don't have my third eye chakra bowl out for you, but that's okay. We're just gonna let you choose with your best intuition. We're gonna go ahead and get charms as well for each of the groups. So for group number one, we have you only more so. It's a ruby. For group number two, it's a different kind of love, rose quartz. For group number three, recharge your destiny, labradorite. And then we'll get you some charms for each of the groups too. Thank you so much, Archangel Michael, for group number one. Charms for group number one. Okay, so we have this little kitty cat. We have a mermaid. For Siren, we have a music uh, treble club. We have a unicorn, phallic king, and an owl, an owl. Excellent. Okay, so now for group number two, thank you so much, Archangel Michael. We have a leaf. Look at all the leaves and the lion's hair. That is so cool. Okay, then we have a coin, a coin with like a fist raised. We have a skull and crossbones. Here you go, like pirates. It feels like wavy there, right? And then I've got this little foot. Okay, now for group number three. Thank you so much, Archangel Michael. Okay, so we have this turtle. The Hansa sign. The wheel. This looks like it's a very powerful reading. The butterfly. And the Pegasus in flight. Okay, so those are the, let me see where I'm putting this, I'm gonna be showing you guys. No, I'm putting it way over here. I hope you guys could see that. My camera is way over here. Okay, so I need to remember. <laughs> I have a different setup today, guys, than normal, of course, because I'm traveling and um, I'm actually set by the fireplace. I was able to clip it onto the edge of the fireplace, my stand. I'm going to have to get a different stand for this traveling. So I've got a blanket. I'm sitting on the floor. Um, and I don't know, this is this is pretty nice. I have a lot of space. There's a lot of space, but I didn't realize the camera was over here. So I'm sorry if you guys couldn't see some of those charms as I was calling them out to you. So we have, um, again, group number one, group number two, group number three. I'll have those links below in the description. Just take a deep breath in and breathe out and choose the group or set of charms you most resonate with. You could have messages in more than one reading, more than one group. If uh, if you could feel called to more than one card, that is often the case. As always, remember, just take what resonates and leave the rest for others as I read from the collective. And this is a general reading. So, um, 
you know, some of these messages could be for you, some could be for other people, but if you found this message, there's definitely going to be something for you here. So again, I'll have those links below in the description, and I'll see you guys in your group. Hi guys, welcome to group number one. If you chose card number one, you chose this beautiful you, only more so, ruby card. There's a, a heart, it looks like a ruby heart in the center, with a black widow spider with that, um, the hourglass on her back, and beautiful roses all around it. There, there's a web outside of that, and it looks like waves, um, you know, like uh, sound waves or something outside of that. And we've got this musical, uh, the treble clef here, the uh, the siren, so it could have something to do with sound waves. Uh, Kitty cat for magic and intuition, unicorn frolicking, and the owl for wisdom. So I'm going to go ahead and get your messages from Archangel Michael, group number one. And this is this is what's coming in for you fast. This is something's coming in for you fast. This has to do with this portal that we're going through from the eclipse, the eclipse portal. So this is the next four to six months. This is going to seed into your life. And this is what's coming in for you fast. Y'all give me a second. I'm going to get a drink and I'm going to tap in. It's so dry here in Santa Fe. I have to keep constantly drinking and spraying myself with water. <laughs> mm. Okay. Let me go ahead and tap one for you. Group number one from your urgent messages from Archangel Michael. Thank you so much, Archangel Michael, for your presence. He said, okay, so he's showing me this eye. Uh, the third eye, so we've had this major third eye awakening. Perhaps you've had this major third eye awakening or you're going to have another major third eye awakening over the next four to six months. Oh, yes, definitely, because now he's showing me the pyramid with the third eye in it. This also could be an, I'm feeling an elevation in status. Um, and this also could have to do with secret societies. So some people could be part of a secret society or they might be um, working with secret societies. So that's interesting. Anything else, Archangel Michael? So this is the portal. You said we're going through this portal. It has to do with these ancient Egypt, Egyptian activations. It has to do with the pyramid. So it's showing me the the, um, the portal looks like a pyramid. It's like a triangle like this. Um, and you're, you're moving through this tunnel. So you're going through the portal now. It has to do with these energies that are coming from the sun. So while the solar flares are activating the magnetic field of the earth, and he's showing me the image again which I didn't understand before until I watched Stefan Burns' channel. And it was just right after I channeled the images about the sun and the sunspots that he came out with a video about the sunspots so that I understood. And in the same, in the same reading, I had channeled the image of the, um, the parallel worlds coming together. But where, first I said it was like the sun uh, and the earth and the sun's energy hitting the magnetic field of the earth and these energy waves like coming out to the side. So it actually is what it looks like <laughs> when it hits the Earth's magnetic field. So there's a great um, raising in the vibration and frequency of the planet right now. It's creating great waves of change. It's going to be manifesting abundance. This is the year of abundance and I'm seeing the flower of life um, blossoming within the Earth. So this is gonna be abundance that's coming in for you and for the next six months, there's some sort of blossoming and abundance. I'm also seeing a star, I'm seeing some different imagery. So there's some, a lot of, uh, there's star patterns and flower patterns uh, is what I'm seeing. I think they're crests. I'm actually seeing secret society symbols. I'm seeing a lot of different ones. So again, there could have something to do with that here. Or, um, we're gonna get further into the reading and find out what's going on here because that's a lot of interesting imagery that Archangel Michael is showing me right now of what's coming in for you. So we're gonna get a few more charms here and we're gonna get some tarot cards. Music. So we've definitely got some music. Um, music is going to be helping you a lot over the next four to six months. You were watched over by the angels, made for by an angel. Made for an angel. You are an angel. Okay, so you're an earth angel, and you come to expand in this time. You're rising up. You could have gotten some light wings recently. Uh, or this just could be signs of butterflies, that you get signs as butterflies. But I said abundance, and here we've got the pumpkin. And I'm getting Cinderella vibes too. So some of you guys might be have like Cinderella vibes of there could be like a prince coming in or something for somebody. We're going to find out more about that because we're going to get more cards. Now, this could just be you growing your abundance. This could be the harvest, the harvest of your abundance here, um, which actually could be signifying October. As a matter of fact, how many, how many months is October away? We're at, we're at the end of May. So June, July, August, September, October, that's five months. Five months uh, in abundance of uh, coming in. Harvest, a harvest uh, for the star. And I was seeing the star as well. I was seeing the star pattern. As a matter of fact, the star pattern I was seeing looks almost, ex it was just like this, um, that just like this. So 
that's really cool. So this is You're the Star. Um, you're meant to shine your beautiful lights. You're a, a healer. And I think you've been doing a lot of healing during this time. Seven of Cups. There was a lot of deception on this earth. There was a lot of hidden things. Look, there was masks and death and poison. There were, where were things hidden? And um, you had to heal from those things. Uh, that's, that's what I'm feeling from this. But I also feel that you came in with the energy and the ability to do this. And I feel that you're also protected um, by the angels. I said that before, but I'm also feeling like star beings here. I feel like the stars have a very significant importance for you. And they might be having a very significant, impor significant importance for you over the next four to six months. So Archangel Michael wants you to keep up with what's going on in the heavens astrologically. And also to keep up with what's going on with your chart. You know... What's, what your rising sign is, your moon sign, um, things like this, for when you're watching other readings. As a matter of fact, they've been, they've been urging me to do, and I know you guys have asked me as well, to do the um, astrological readings. So I think I'm going to start on those soon. Um, but that's what I'm seeing now. I need to do readings for the different signs. And these things are going to be important over the next few months. There's a major trine that's coming on June 4th, you guys. Archangel Michael says you need to rest right now. You have just had some major upgrades and going through all this healing of having to deal with uh, with things that were hidden, uh, the people that were wearing masks. And again, for some of you guys, you were dealing with secret societies and shadow forces. And uh, there could even be uh, like a demonic entities that you had to deal with. Y'all only take what resonates. This is what I'm seeing. And again, there's a lot of people here, but you're needing to rest. Uh, he, had, he had me split the deck with the four of swords. There was a lot of illusion. There were a lot of people, um, or, or you thought, you know, like maybe you thought that love was coming in or you thought your abundance was coming in, but it was an illusion. And this had to do with the seven of cups energy. This had to do with this, um, these things that were hidden. I'm hearing matrix energies. So this is what you're healing from. It's coming through really high vibrational, you guys. I'm going to try to slow it down. I'm sorry if I'm going really fast. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, perp confirmation. It's coming in very high vibrational. It's coming in very fast. So that's that's what he's saying. I said it, this is coming in very fast. Archangel Michael wants you to know this is coming in very fast. So it's time to rest. There, you might be needing to rest more right now uh, than before. Is people were just trying to... Um, they were trying to rob you of your love. And I really think a lot of this had to do with the church or it could have to do with past marriages. But here's here's what's happening. Um, what you're getting over the next four to six months. Are you know, Michael wants you to know like you're 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 manifesting this beautiful, uh this beautiful new love. Look at this. Passionate, passionate love. Oh, let me make sure I've got this thing in the right place. This is where I should be, I'm thinking, right? So this beautiful, passionate love. So we've got the Hierophant. This is honestly symbolizing marriage. Again, this could be symbolizing this uh, su this rise to supremacy, rise to your own spiritual authority as over the structures of, we were talking about shadow forces and possibly the church as well. Because what I'm feeling is the church in this is like a new beginning in love with this Ace of Cups. So this is a new beginning in love and it's going to be quite passionate. For a lot of you, Divine Feminines, you've been manifesting this. You've been manifesting this. You could be a Lyrian star seed, a Lyrian star, Lyrian star seed. You could be um, connected to Bastet. Again, definitely connected to ancient Egypt. This is where ancient Egyptian activation. So there is some spiritual authority coming in for you as you're manifesting this love. You're manifesting. Um, so this is, this could be marriage coming in for you, some of you, over the next over the next four to six months. This could be marriage. Uh, this could at least, you know, definitely on the way to that. It's going to be very passionate. It's going to come in very fast because you're fiery and passionate and you don't have any problem moving away from any sort of energies that, um, that hurt you. This is what you did. You moved away from these energies. This is why you're healing, why you need to rest a bit right now is what Archangel Michael is saying. Because you're going to this beautiful Three of Cups energy. You're going to a celebration. You're going to be coming together with community. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, you're, you're going to be uh, very stable, very abundant, very nurturing. You already are these things, but this is more stability that's coming in for you over the next four to six months. And what I'm feeling for this is that many of you, this is that golden contract. This is magic, you know? 
this is that golden timeline contract it's it's coming in um, and that is right underneath the Hierophant, that marriage, that divine union, that kingdom spouse. Um, a passionate and the angels are celebrating this. They're rejoicing. They're, your ancestors are rejoicing. This new love that is coming in for you. Yes, queen of cups. Yeah, you're in this beautiful queen of cups energy. It says love. And they see that you're this, okay, I'm feeling it's like goddess of love energy. Venus Hathor energy you have this beautiful energy of love it's like palpable about you and people just see that you you're nurturing you're intuitive you're loving you're kind uh, you're wise you have a depth of emotion so you have you have Empress energy like Queen of Cups Queen of Pentacles Queen of Wands If you haven't mastered all these energies, this is definitely coming in for you over the next four to six months. But I feel that you're already in these energies. I feel this is just showing your superiority, your supremacy over the next four to six months. You're blossoming. You're blossoming in your intuitive skills. You're going to be blossoming in your abundance, your groundedness, your fiery, passionate action and inaction, your manifestation ability. You just, um, I'm not seeing any Queen of Swords here, you know, so we've got. Um, but the Queen of Wands has no want, uh, no problem protecting herself. Yeah, exactly. Seven of Wands, keeping those energies back. That's what I'm saying. That like, you have no problem keeping any sort of energies back. Uh, you've put up walls against those energies. You've put up boundaries. These are healthy, healthy boundaries that are helping you to heal. So you just need to rest in this time. Do you hear that wind? It's just going crazy. So Archangel Michael wanted me to get some. Okay, so six six. I've been seeing six six a lot, you guys. Um, so we're going to look up the meaning for that right now. And then we've got a one. So this is this is going to be the one. This is going to be the one for you. Um, and then we've got 40. So somebody could be in their 40s. Um, okay. Let's see. Here's our phone. We're going to look up 66 for you right away. Because this is what I am being led to do. 66. Six. Angel number. conveys unconditional love and harmony and romantic relationships. So this is what's coming in for you fast over the next four to six months, you guys. I, I got so excited at that. Um, angel number 66 conveys unconditional love and harmony in romantic relationships. It signals that your love life might be headed towards a period of growth, deep connection, and mutual understanding. This number encourages you to pour love, care, and nurturing into your romantic life. That's exactly what you're doing. Like you're doing it passionately. You're going to be doing it passionately over the next six months. And and, and this is what I'm feeling with this like three of cups. Like the angels are, you're, you're an earth angel and you came here to pour out this love on the earth. But I feel like you're surrounded by the angels too. You're protected by the angels. And the angels are pouring out this beautiful incense upon you is what I'm hearing. I was going to say an anointing, this beautiful love energy. They're saying it's a beautiful incense and this is helping you to manifest. Um, you smell sweet, you, you blossom, you're attracting, you're attracting like a beautiful divine feminine and this is what's coming in over the next <laughs> four to six months. This is incredible, you guys. I'm feeling so high vibey. Abhi uh, wanted me to get a few more chimes. Uh, your ancestors are here. Um, so are the angels, they're, they're celebrating. So um, here we go. Archangel Michael mediates the messages. We've got a tower. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be traveling over the next four to six months. I've got the Eiffel Tower. I've got a four. Stability. You're going to stability. Um, I'm hearing financial stability. So that's super incredible. I've got the skull and crossbones. And so now if we didn't think before that there was a tower moment, there definitely is, has been a tower moment. There could be a tower moment to something else coming up in the future. But that's no worries because you're old hat at this now. You know that death is just a rebirth. And rebirth brings even more incredible change and beauty. But again, this could be talking about secret societies because we've got skull and bones. I was feeling pirate energy. And it was honestly, I was feeling it in... Um, the second group. So you might have messages in group number two. If you were called to that at all, peace. There's peace. There is great peace coming in for you over the next four to six months. Great peace and strength. Look at this little, this elephant, this beautiful elephant. And again, I'm feeling a call to traveling. And I'm feeling that stability. That four, because the four legs on the ground, this very, very stable energy. You're going to be very, very stable. And 
traveling, listening to music, music is going to be very beneficial. You could be making music for some of you, dancing or making music. That's beautiful. Let me check the time real quick. See where we're at. We're at, it's exactly at 15 minutes. That's pretty cool. Okay, I saw it turned 15.01. So there was another six there. So we've got that 666 and then 666, which is not a bad number, you guys. They changed it to be a bad number. It is, again, that church um, lied about it, about it. That's not. Okay. So we're going to get some star codes Astro and some Gateway of Light Activation cards for you. That's what Archangel Michael is saying. Thank you so much, Archangel Michael, for these beautiful messages of what's coming in great change. Okay, so there's going to be great change coming in for you. You've already been going through great change. This is Uranus. There's Uranus energy. Uranus always brings great change. You're capable of this great change and transformation. This is why you're the butterfly. You're constantly transforming. You're constantly becoming better, blossoming. You're going to be standing in your strength and becoming even more dignified. This is the divine feminine, uh, the number 13 with the divine feminine rising up for those of you on this ascension ladder you are rising up in this spiraling ascension pattern and you're going pattern and you're going up to again your sovereignty this is your throne you're the empress energy empress or emperor energy you take that how it resonates i don't think i've been throwing one or the other in here i think it says empress and divine feminine quite a bit but you guys just take this how it resonates um there's a retrograde review coming up okay a retrograde review coming up. Okay, what re what's going into retrograde? I'm going to go find out. Retrograde over the next six months. Six months. Mercury. It's a communication review. Okay. Um, it's going to cause... Commu okay, so the, it's going to cause communication problems, travel issues, and technological difficulties. So Mercury retrograde... Um, ending on April, uh, April 24th, August and ending on, okay. So it's from August 5th to August 27th. So that's not too long, you guys. And November 25th and ending December 15th. So there's just two little periods of this, um, of this retrograde review that's going to be happening. Um, this could have to do with the tower moments possibly that are be coming up in the future. This retrograde review is going to be happening in, um, August, August and, uh, no, December pretty much end of November to part of December. Um, so be patient and kind to yourself. Avoid impulsive decisions. Be patient and kind to yourself. Avoid impulsive decisions. And don't rush into important decisions or launching new projects when this is happening. Oh my gosh. Okay, so so this was specifically, this is, Mercury's going into retrograde, right? But this was specifically, we've got Uranus here and it's Uranus that's going into retrograde, right underneath that. Uranus is going to be going into retrograde again on September 1st to January 30th. So that's the big change in September. So May, uh, so June, July, August, September. This is in four months. There's going to be a review that has to do, let's see. This is going to be changed the way you feel about the big picture matters. Um, big, big picture matters such as income and relationships. So the big change is going to be a review of income and relationships. It's going to change how you feel about your income and your relationships over the next huge, huge, huge review over the next four to six months. This is incredible because that's exactly what I was saying. You're going to get this beautiful relationship, um, this beautiful, this beautiful change in your abundance. And that's what's coming in. So this is the great change that's coming in for you. This seems like a good review. <laughs> You're going to be looking at things from a higher perspective. So again, remember, there could be that there's that one little bit of uh, Mercury retrograde uh, review that'll be going on. It'll affect communication, but that's not until August. So there's still plenty of time. <laughs> still plenty of time to prepare for that. And again, during that time, just be patient with yourself. Patient with yourself and... Um, also, it's, I'm hearing it's also super helpful not to have expectations, just to have, um, just to trust in your highest, highest good for whatever is happening around you at the time that this is happening for your highest good, it's happening for your highest timeline, accept everything with grace, roll, roll with it, whatever may be coming, because I'm hearing roll with the punches, whatever may be coming over Mercury Gretchen Gray, just roll with it. You know, this could be the smallest things like your text messages messing up and saying the wrong thing or um, or like 
having a hard time uploading videos. I'm having a terrible time uploading videos now. It was just fine yesterday, but the video I'm trying to upload on my Manifest Frequency channel, it's saying like it keeps jumping up to like 256 hours. If it goes down the lowest, I think it's at, I think it was at like nine or 10 hours, but it, it's, uh, it's really bad. <laughs> so again, that um, just, it could be simple things. You're just gonna have to be patient with yourself and that's in August. But what you're doing is coming up to authority you're coming up to this beautiful uh, 10th house of authority. It's going to be, um, you're meant to shine on this earth. In the beginning, again, you're the star. You're meant to shine on this earth, and you're meant to come to this uh, this dignified strength. This is going to be great change for you that's coming in over the next four to six months. I feel this great change of you stepping up in authority. And now this could be at your job. This could be in your community. This could, give, again, with the financial matters or relationship-wise, definitely financial matters and relationship wise. This is definitely what's come out in group number one. The Taurus, it's like a slow, steady cultivation. But what I'm feeling here again is Venus energy, this love. I feel this love and this partnership coming in with two of putting it together. This is a celebration. Um, you guys will both be standing in your authority because this is an alliance. This is a conjunction. It says the star seed alliance. This is an alliance in the heavens, and this is by Archangel Michael wants you to pay attention to the stars. Pay attention to the stars and the placements of the stars over the next four to six months. Again, it can just be so you know that if something is going wrong, again, like with your electronics or something, that you know what's happening and you just have more patience with it at the time. This can help you to see things from a higher perspective. And then when you don't have resistance to things, sometimes they just fall away. And, and that's just a beautiful message right there. Again, right at the bottom of the deck, it's the solar calm to clarify. So there will be a solar calm coming in. And, and what I was saying is about um, rising above it or knowing knowing what's happening with the stars is going to get bring you this calm because you'll just know what's happening. You'll be able to, oh, okay, well, we're just going to let that go. Again, I know this is just for my highest good and I just need to breathe, let it go, relax, let it flow through me. This is going to clarify things for you and bring you to calm. Just knowing what's happening with the um, with the heavens over the next four to six months is going to be very clarifying for you. So that's a beautiful message, and we're going to get you some Gateway of Light activation cards. I see Akashic Stargate with the, at the bottom of the deck. This is definitely Akashic Stargate that we're going through. Aligned with the purpose, crossroads, no wrong path. So it's always good to hear that there is no wrong path. There's no wrong path, whichever way you wish to, if, which way you choose to go. And remember, always be patient with yourself and free with yourself that if you make a mistake or you lose your temper or you have like a little, you know, things aren't working out, your video's not floating, you have like a little fit in the moment, that that's okay. Everything is okay. It's okay to have emotions. It's okay to go through things. And then you just let it go. You come back to this calm. You come back to this calm and uh, then you'll find that everything flows smoothly for you. So again, there's no wrong path. You're not doing anything wrong. You can't do it wrong. This is gonna come in for you. You're going to flow into this by just uh, stepping into this beautiful calm. That felt super high vibey there. So we've got the crystal skull wisdom clarify uh, this is clarity you're getting clarity we've got clarify here i said it twice so it's clarify and clarity you're getting extreme clarity over the next four to six months you're getting extreme clarity divine healing and high vibrational energy oh my god you guys oh, what i was just saying i'm feeling so high vibey right now it's super high vibey that's coming in so this high vibrational energy is coming in for you over the next four to six months you're going to be getting any more even more high vibrational energy it's going to be clarifying everything within your brain, within your skull, within your head. This is bringing you great clarity. And again, we've got the skull, the skull and crossbones, the skull and bones is here. You know, we've got this, I'm again, I'm just his pirate energy. So high vibrational, a pirate, I'm hearing pirate airways, like we're rocking the pirate airways here, you know? <laughs> pirate radio, that's kind of fun. Sending out these high vibe frequencies for the high vibe tribe. This is divine healing that's coming in for you. Great divine healing. This we're putting it right here. You're a healer and you're healing right now. It's a heal the healer. Now it's time to rest. You're going to get this great clarity. What did I say about Hathor? 
Hathor is here. Venus, Hathor energy. This is love. These are these love codes, these love activations. For some of you from ancient Egypt, this high priest and high priestess, these divine partnerships, these divine unions coming in. But what you're getting is this light immersion over the next four to six months in a full system upgrade, power recall. You're recalling your power. This could be in finance. This could be in love. This could be just you recalling all your power from all your past lives from all of the timelines just recalling all of your power in the moment and knowing that you're the one that creates your reality and you can choose which direction you wish to go in you can choose if you want to be sad and you can choose if you want to get upset you can choose if you want to look at things in a different perspective and and say hey that's not that bad or you know what that's actually was the better thing for me and now i'm gonna go do this however you do it i'm just it's your choice what direction you want to head in and live life to the fullest it's that's what we're here for to experience these things so look and there's no wrong path you're not doing anything wrong it's you you get this choice and this is your power recall you're getting this light immersion full system upgrade i have messages coming in from the pleiadians i saw a ship last night you guys it was the most incredible experience i'll have to share it to you i'm going to try to get those messages out for you soon so this is a stargate heart heart chakra opening unlocking generosity you're going to be able to share with others because you have all this love to give and you're going to be able to have abundance to give because you're going to get this abundance you're going to be able to share with others the green but i'm feeling again the heart chakra opening love is coming in love and this could be again the divine partner the sun and i was feeling raw earlier connected directly to source energy abundance downloads regeneration and success so what you're getting is abundance regeneration and success you're promised success and this is what's coming in for you over the next four to six months success is your standing in your strength success in this great change success in this review even the retrograde planets aren't going to affect you because you're going to know and knowing is going to bring you this calm, this clarity, this clarity of this wisdom, this high vibrational energy and this divine healing. And then you're going to get this divine healing to be able to share with others, but you're getting love. You're getting love and the angels are celebrating you. You're getting healing. You're getting abundance. You're getting great change, powerful, great change. And this is the most beautiful reading this is the most beautiful reading. I love that I can lay out all the cards like this. At the bottom of the deck, I've got the I am presence, light body activations, accessing the divine within. Exactly. You're moving up to sovereignty. I said connected directly to source energy, connected to God, connected to the divine within you, your I am presence. You're getting this light immersion in another light body activation. This is super incredible. I love this message so much, you guys. Please be sure to... Uh, like the video, um, comment down below, leave me a message. I love hearing from you guys. Share this video if you know anyone that might enjoy it. Thank you so much for all of the beautiful energy you send me. I'm ever so grateful for you. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Hello and welcome to group number two. If you chose card number two, you chose this beautiful, a different kind of love card with the rose quartz. And you guys forgive the noise, but it's the wind just started kicking up a lot outside. So, um, and this is the second time I've recorded this reading, so hopefully it all works out this time. So we've got a little footprints, we have a skull and crossbones, we have a, um, a leaf, and we have a little coin. And gosh, I should have put more lotion on my hands. It is so dry here in the desert, I could just, I'm just gonna wither away. I keep having to add water. <laughs> I've got a humidifier going. I was just outside eating lunch and my hands are all dry again. I'll just forgive my hands. I'm gonna take a drink and tap in for you. For you, group number two. From your urgent messages from Archangel Michael. And this is what's coming in for you really fast over the next four to six months. So I'm getting the imagery of of you pulling a sword from a stone so it's like um pulling the sword from the stone this is the truth archangel michael's sword pulling it out from the stone pulling it from the earth so you're pulling the truth you're going to be getting the truth some very powerful truth you're going to be standing in your sovereignty what i'm seeing is like um you know how king arthur pulls the sword from the stone and when he does i'm sorry guys i got distracted by the dogs <laughs> um Okay, they're all good. So yes, when Archangel Michael pulls the sword from the stone, 
uh, Archangel Michael, when I, King Arthur pulls the sword from the stone, and he's not king yet, but when he pulls the sword from the stone, he becomes king. So this is like you, you pulling out the truth, you're pulling out Archangel Michael's sword and stepping into your sovereignty, becoming this king of truth, becoming this king of swords, um, stepping into sovereignty. King Arthur, he was a very good king and he had a round table with these really good knights that went around and did stuff. So that's that's the imagery I'm getting, that you're, you're supposed to be this magnanimous um, royal figure. And we have the lion here, which is the very royal symbol. So this is, uh, this is you stepping into your sovereignty and this is going to be a different kind of love. So let's see if this means there's love coming in for you. This could be just you loving yourself. But what I'm feeling here with the footprint is you on this journey, you're on this spiritual journey and you're going to be blossoming. You're going to be blossoming spiritually. You're going to be blossoming in abundance physically. You've gone through this death and rebirth process you weren't afraid to um, to deal with past energies. There actually could have been some de actual deaths in your past that you overcame. You overcame these energies and you're rising up and you're going to abundance. With the coin and the leaf, the leaf is like blossoming abundance and you're coming up out of this emotional depth. So you have this great depth of emotion to you and you're rising up in your sovereignty. So I've got Leo, I've got some great Leo energy here. Some of you could be royal star seeds, you could be uh, identify as Lyran star seeds or, um... hold on guys, let me, I just had a bunch of cards fly out. All right. Okay, so we've got the Six of Cups, Temperance, The Fool, The Hanged Man, and The Star. So for some of you guys, be patient because love is coming in for you. Uh, this would be a different kind of love because they're a fool for you. Be patient with this. They're connected to past lives. This would be a, a, a past life soulmate. Um, who's coming up out of hanged man energy. So they're releasing themselves from being feeling tied up and they're actually starting to feel this freedom. So instead of feeling tied up, they're feeling this beautiful freedom and they just want to leap into this beautiful new love with you. So this could be for some of you, this is divine partnerships. For others of you, this is, um, you're tempering out energies from the past lives or these could be energies from your past or you could be having thoughts of things from your childhood, tempering out those energies and getting into this beautiful childlike energy of a new beginning, of, of freeing yourself from any connections or ties um, to the past or to past energies, to just becoming like a new person and just feeling this new beginning, this beautiful new beginning and, and jumping into this beautiful new beginning with the star. So um, for some of you, you actually could be a star. Again, I was saying star seeds, um, Lyran, Lyran star seeds or royal star seeds, but this is, for some of you, this is this is a fool for the star. So the divine feminine, you could be this beautiful star healer energy, Aquarius energy. There could be an Aquarius here, in particular. Um, this this is the age of Aquarius. So I, I'm feeling for some of you, this is someone going to the star. This is someone going to you. Yes, you're. Uh, the angels are celebrating this. They've been watching over this. There were some. There were some energies in the past that maybe tried to fool you, maybe tried to offer you some sort of false cup of love, um, but you're needing, you're resting, you're taking your time to rest from those energies right now. Now, this also could be the same person from the past as well. As I said, a lot of you are just letting go of your past and moving away from those energies. You've had to, to rest and um, I'm hearing a retreat to recharge. So let's see what's happening coming in over the next, uh, the next four to six months, Archangel Michael. Is it this different kind of love? What's coming in for this star? Completion. Yeah, you've made a judgment. You've made a judgment on these past energies. So judgment is what came in here. Judgment and the world. Judgment and the world. These are some really powerful cards here. The fool, the star, judgment, and the world. You made a judgment on these past energies. What's coming in in the future is a good judgment to bring you to completion, to bring you to ultimate completion. Your ancestors are celebrating this. This could be this judgment time. So we've got this, we've got this royal lion here. We've got, you know, it like God or Jesus Christ. We've got this energy here. And we also have judgment and it's feeling like the rising up of the souls, this ascension time, this judgment energy that's happening over the earth right now. Um, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be bringing you to full completion. Like you've had to go through a lot of healing. 
you've had to go through a lot of healing but this healing is coming to completion and this is this judgment this judgment was called in your favor from past lives from everything that you've let you've let go of you've let go of and you've let go of the illusion and you're staying in this beautiful childlike energy and now the king of pentacles is coming in for you the king of pentacles uh yeah so so this so for some of you this is an actual divine partnership a divine union now y'all just take this how it resonates for others of you again this is if you're not wanting love or divine union this is you that you're just going to be standing in your spiritual sovereignty you've got this beautiful golden contract um golden contract for the golden timeline and you're going to be very stable growing your abundance uh king of pentacles that he just has all the money right he has all the money he has all the magic he has all the powers of earth so again we've got earth energy here Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. This is a slow moving energy, but it's a very stable energy. Now, for some of you guys, this is the uh, the star and the King of Pentacles coming together, coming to this completion. This could be a judgment for these past life energies, uh, judgment for, um, yeah. Yeah, the Two of Cups, somebody had to move away, somebody had to put up boundaries, and it had to do with soulmates. Um, somebody had to move away, put up boundaries, it had to do with soulmates, and... I'm feeling that over here. It, this all has to do with this soulmate connection. I feel Gemini energy here. I'm feeling Virgo energy as well as Leo energy. Yes, I definitely feel that we've got Cancerian energy. We've got the Wheel of Fortune here. Um, so this is, you're going to be very fortunate with this, this partnership. For those of you that's going to this completion, uh, that's going to a soulmate, you're going to be very fortunate. This there's there's great change that's happening. There's great change that's happening over the next uh, four to six months. And this this wheel of fortune, this luck, this this golden contract you have again that's that's protected by the angels, that's watched over by these angels. I'm feeling like cherubim, seraphim that are watching over to bring in this judgment, uh, to bring these partnerships together or to bring you to healing and stability so you just take this how it resonates um for those of you uh but it does look like there's definitely some sort of union some sort of soulmate here soulmate soulmate bonus i'm hearing soulmate bonus okay what's up what more about this soulmate bonus a relationship archangel michael says it's a relationship you have a vision of this you may have had visions in the past of this i've got capricorn energy I said past. Let's put it over here. You've had visions of these past lives. You've had dreams. You've dreamed about them. I've got Capricorn energy here. Capricorn uh, could be very. A Capricorn could be very significant. Again, there we've got this Earth sign energy here, um, but they they could be very tempted by you. Um, someone could have been tempted to run away in the past. This is uh, from over this relationship. Maybe they had visions about this. Maybe it was just really highly passionate. Again, I'm Capricorn is like devil energy, right? That's like like your um a very big temptation to them this is going to be the pinnacle in the home uh this is a symbiosis of this coming together and a juno in partnership these all came out in the other reading that i did i i'm not sure if it was in the first reading or the and i just don't know why they all flipped over again you guys because i've shuffled the cards obviously i shuffle through them so it's not they don't get mixed up but for them to come out in um in the same chunk again is just wild uh so yeah it's 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 the pinnacle it's this pinnacle of this relationship of this home of this coming together for these energies so you're going to home you're going to achieve you're going to achieve this pinnacle this this is what you're going to achieve whether it's in relationship or whether it's in business and finance this is what you're going to achieve hi mr buddy how are you doing I've got some sneezing happening over here with mr buddy give him some pets there he's our little our little angel mascot today yeah, you're going to, there's going to be, a, there's going to be a symbiosis in this partnership. There's a, a special trine that's happening on June 6th that's coming together. So, um, so what, what Archangel Michael is saying is it's going to be bringing these partnerships together. It's going to be bringing you to the pentacle. It's going to be bringing you to your soulmate. And this is the wheel of fortune spinning. You've had visions of this. This is this relationship coming in for you. This is what's coming in for you over the next four to six months. And this is going to be a different kind of love. It's going to be a partnership. It's going to be a very, a very pleasantly aspected partnership. This is the most pleasant aspect in astrology that makes things flow together. That makes things run smoothly. That gives you all the luck. It gives you all the luck. So you're going to have all the luck in this. That's beautiful message. Let me get you some gateway of light activation cards. Whoa. 
what just happened there. We'll take those two cards. Ah, no, Archangel Michael wants me to take this one as well. Okay. So this was uh, what flipped out here at the bottom. We've got Thoth, Light Codes, Light Initiation, Great Teacher Awakening, and Divine Magic. So you guys are meant to, uh, for some of you, you're, you're great teachers. You are royal starseeds. They're here to, sh to show others. When you come together in this partnership, just the, the symbiosis of your partnership, the, the, the beauty of it, how it flows together, how it, you're going to show people how other partners should be together. This is, this is going to be a, this is going to teach others um, how to have a beautiful relationship. And this has to do with these light initiations. Again, this has to do with ancient Egypt. For some of you guys, this is high priestess, high, high priestess, um, and high priests coming together from ancient Egypt, from Atlantis and Lemuria coming together with these, those light codes coming through with this wisdom and divine magic. This is an Akashic Stargate. You guys are going to be aligned with a purpose. This is a crossroads and there is no wrong path. So you've got this wheel of fortune. You're going to get this divine partnership. There is no wrong path. So even if it's not the person that you think that it is, Again, there's no wrong path and you can't do anything wrong. So it doesn't really matter. Um, you're just going, you're going to get it right. You're going to get it right because you're guided by the angels. You're divinely protected and you're following your intuition. This is a soul star activation. You have fulfilled these soul contracts and you've remembered who you are. Either that or you're fulfilling these soul contracts and remembering who you are over the next four to six months. If you haven't done this already, this is coming in for you over the next four to six months. If you have, it's because that you've done this, that you're getting this beautiful divine partnership that's going to be the pinnacle of success for you. It's going to be the pinnacle of everything, the penultimate I'm hearing. And it's going to feel super calm and soothing like home. Like it's going to be, it's going to be flowing, flowing and smooth. Yeah, someone's been thinking about this. They've been thinking about offering you this contract. Thinking about, someone's been thinking about off, um, marrying you. The Queen of Cups. Yeah, a new beginning in love. Yeah. What did they say? What the heck? <laughs> and these came out in the other reading. We got the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Because you're the Empress energy. You've got this beautiful Empress energy and they're thinking about marrying you. We've got the Hierophant, the Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups, and Queen of Wands. Passionate, passionate, beautiful highly sensitive, very loving, very loving relationship. You're beautiful inside and out. You're sexy, you're determined, and you have this great love to give. Your love is very healing and soothing. This is going to be a new beginning in love. Someone wants to offer you this cup. Someone wants to offer you this divine contract. They've been thinking about this. This is what's coming in for you over the next four to six months. Queen of Swords, you had to cut off a lot of energies. You have cut off a lot of energies. You've put up a lot of boundaries and you kept a lot of people away from you. This is actually just to keep others from hurting you. But you know what? I feel like, oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Archangel Michael is, what? What? Okay, these are coming off the bottom of the deck. So Queen of Swords. So we have Air Energy. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra coming together. We've got the Empress here as well. We've got the Queen of Wands. So we've got the Fire Energy. We have Water Signs. We've got um, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Cancer, then we have Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. We've got Aries energy here as well for the Emperor. This is the Emperor and the Empress coming together. These are divine counterparts with the Ten of Cups. It's the wish fulfillment. It's happy family. It's who's the four. You've manifested this. <laughs> the Four of Wands. This this uh, this relationship. This marriage. This stability. This Ten of Cups, this wish fulfillment, this happy family, uh, you've manifested this with the with the Ten of uh, the Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, it's not even it's not even going to be a struggle. There's no struggle of this. You manifested it, it's coming in. It's coming in. You manifested this. It's coming in. This is what's coming in over the next four to six months. This is the most powerful, incredible message. I love this message, you guys. Um, please let me know how it resonates. I love hearing from you guys in the comments. Um, be sure to like, share, subscribe. Go ahead and hit the like button for me, you know, on your way out. Um, thank you so much for um, all the beautiful energy you send me, your donations, your subscriptions, purchasing a personal reading, any of the energy you send me. I'm ever so grateful for you. I'm sending you so much light and love. I'm so excited about this. It's coming in for you. It's coming in for me. It's coming in for you. This is incredible. Isn't this beautiful? You work so hard for this. This is just, I'm just so happy for you. Okay, I'm sending you so much light and love, and I'll talk to you soon. Hello, and welcome to group number three. If you chose card number three, three, uh, you just, you chose this beautiful Recharge Your Destiny card. It has the lovely Aurora Borealis. There's a Hansa sign for divine protection. There's this beautiful turtle, Pathfinder turtle. I'm also feeling protection there. We've got this uh, 
this Pegasus energy rising up, this Pegasus in flight. We have this butterfly as well, so a lot of, a lot of air energy here. And we have this beautiful wheel, wheel of fortune I'm hearing. So this is a beautiful energy. I'm so excited to tap into these messages for you from Archangel Michael, group number three. Let me get a drink here real quick. And we're going to tap into your messages. Y'all forgive me if there's some wind noises. It's really windy out here. All right, so we're going to tap in from, these are your urgent messages from Archangel Michael of what's coming in for you fast over the next four to six months. And these have been really powerful, incredible messages. So be sure if you you were attracted to any of the other cards or group, be sure to check out those groups and see if you have any messages. I know group number one and group number two were really combined together. So, all right, I'm going to tap in for you guys. So I, I do feel Archangel Michael is, is saying there's going to be great change that's happening over, over, for you over the next four to six months. I'm seeing the Northern Star. So I see a star, but it's the Northern Star, and I'm actually kind of in it. Like, so this light is coming from out of you, but it's creating a, a cross pattern like this, like this, but it's like this. Um, the light is coming out like this. And then there's like this waves coming around it like this. So it's kind of like a diamond, um, a star with like a diamond pattern in the center. Uh, this energy is coming out of you. And what I'm hearing is that you're going supernova. You're, so I see the energies go out like this. And so he says you're going supernova. And then I see, um, I see the energies of the ley lines are actually creating great change. I also see the energies of the sun and the earth. So these solar storms, these powerful energies that are happening in the heavens are creating great change to the earth's energetic field. And this is creating great change to your energetic field. It's gonna make you shine more brightly. Shine bright like a diamond. You're gonna shine bright like a diamond over the next four to six months. So this is actually changing your destiny. So um, you are changing. You're going through this great change. And with this Aurora Borealis here, I was talking about the solar flares creating this great change. And do you remember, it just happened very recently that a lot of people were able to see the aurora all over where they couldn't normally see it. And this has to do with those solar maxima and all those solar storms, especially had to do with the sunspots that are coming. So this has been very activating and this has recharged your destiny. You're hitting that wheel of fortune right now. So you're divinely protected through this portal for the next four to six months and you're going to be going to great change. Um, you're going to be shining, shining bright like a diamond. For some of you guys, you're going to partnership because I see the turtle as the one that I was seeing in the at the eclipse portal when I went at the 144, 1.44 minutes of totality in Austin, Texas for the, the solar eclipse. Um, and I saw the turtles in the water and, and the two different turtles for the divine partnerships coming together. So for some of you guys, these are divine partnerships coming together. For other of you, this is soul family, star family. We're going to go ahead and get some cards. Archangel Michael, uh, some of you guys may have been burning candles or doing candle rituals, or this could be a call that um, that you should. Oh, you know what, guys? We were going to, we were having some issues with the cards doing doing things. So we're going to go ahead and shuffle real quick um, just to make sure everything is really settled in for this reading. Here we go. I hardly ever shuffle, but the cards were coming out all all the same and <laughs> and that's we're just gonna make sure that if they come out well well they have to be meant to be that way right of course that's always the case all right so here we go archangel michael i've got the six of cups at the bottom of the deck so this could have to do with past life and king of cups strings so, okay, so somebody had been holding back income information, but this uh, this king of cups is standing in there as strength, and there's information incoming. So now there could be a king of cups coming in for a Leo energy. So we got Leo energy here. This could be a royal divine feminine star seed standing in her strength. There is a lots of incoming communication for this divine feminine. Now, just take this how it resonates. Y'all can swap their roles however you see fit. Just fit yourself into the story. And again, I read from the collective, so take only what resonates. There's going to be messages from multiple people here. So for some of you guys, this is you having this beautiful King of Cups energy and communicating. Um, communicating by standing in your strength. But no, I see definitely incoming communication from a King of Cups to a Divine Feminine. All right. So there's going to be a lot of incoming communication over the next four to six months. This has to do with love. This has to do with a love partnership for some of you. 
for some of you, this is stability, uh, stability in the emotions, and you're going to be able to communicate much better. So yeah, somebody has a really depth, a very strong depth of emotion for you. This is an emperor energy. Um, this, if, if you're the emperor, then you have this strong depth of emotion for this divine feminine. So this is the deep well of emotion. What I'm feeling here is Venusian energy with the well. I'm actually feeling Venusian energy of this divine feminine. Um, and then, but this, they want to, I'm feeling a high response here. So this is an emperor energy, they, Aries energy. So then we also have Scorpio, Pisces, um, Scorpio Pisces Cancer energy, so they could have a placement, a, a placement like this in their charts. But what I'm feeling is it's love. Someone's greatly in love with you, and they're going to be standing in their strength and communicating. They have this depth of love for you. They're used to controlling their emotions. They're used to holding things back. They're used to really being in control. I've got Aries energy, but I'm hearing Capricorn energy here as well. Um, so definitely, it's a fiery, fiery energy that has a great depth of emotion for you that wants to come in with communication. They are connected to the order of Melchizedek. So this is awesome. And this they also this is also an Orion activation. And I said you're going supernova. So you also could be connected to the order of Melchizedek. And this is your embraced by light. And your mission is uncovered and don't give up. Your mission is uncovered. For some of you guys, this mission has been uncovered. You're recharging your destiny. This is how you're reco recovering your mission. You're standing up to sovereignty. You're standing in your strength. You've got this great well of emotions great well and depth of emotion, of sensitivity, of character, of um, love for others. You have this stability and love. You can nurture and care for others. Um, and you're not, and, and for some of you, the Divine Masculines, they're not spreading this love around. This is, they're very cautious about who they give their cup to because that's what I'm seeing. Like they're, he's holding on to the cup and he's like kind of leaning back and looking, um, looking at the Divine Feminine. He's like, hmm, is this, mm, I'm, I'm thinking about this. That's what the Emperor, he's looking up at her too. You see how that's what they're looking, they're looking at her. They're looking at this Royal Divine Feminine. Okay, so this is an Orion activation. You're going supernova. That says it right here on the card, just like I was saying. Uh, supernova. This is a gateway. You're going through this Renayan activation where you're rebirthed. I'm hearing rebirth. Oh, there it is. Rebirth by light. I was hearing rebirth by light before I got into it. Recreation, renewal, rebirth by light. So you're changing your destiny, becoming rebirth by light from all these frequencies that have come in. You are greatly transforming and rising up in this ascension. You're divinely protected. You got this Pathfinder turtle that's helping to show you the way as you're moving forward with this great purpose. And you're just, you're your um promise success there were some things that were hidden there was like maybe forces that were trying to keep you down there were people there was someone that was wearing a mask um maybe they were wearing a mask yeah see with the seven of cups that's what i'm seeing there were there were this like this is a particularly this is a particularly nasty seven of cups right there was some illusion that was trying to keep you from the kingdom there's some illusion in place there was some illusion this could be matrix energies this could be this king of cups that was holding back or had holding having a mask this is justice for these energies justice because all they want is the higher fun <laughs> no they only want is to bring it together justice for these energies i've also got this divine feminine owl right here so i'm feeling that magic this order of melchizedek okay so this is the three of cups the hierophant and the world they just want to bring this together they want to bring this to completion and for some of you guys this is your ancestors and your spirit guides the angels watching over you protecting you but they're celebrating because you're coming to completion you're coming up to this spiritual sovereignty but many of you are coming to this kingdom spouse union so this is this is the king of cups the emperor looking for this divine feminine and her strength, this royal divine feminine, and wanting to put all this together in a celebration. Celebration, a beautiful three of cups, higher font, the world celebration. This could be actually, so for some of you guys, this could be a worldwide celebration. For some of you, it might be very, uh, very public. For others of you, you know, it's, you're going to be traveling the world or, or this is going to bring you to ultimate completion. But this is a great celebration right now. This is a beautiful coming together of community is what I'm hearing. I see the three of swords at the bottom of the deck. Someone was really heartbroken. Maybe you've been really heartbroken in the past. Like this whole thing has to do with heartbreak. And five of swords, yeah, they were energies you had to walk away from. Um, somebody was like really tied up in their heads and it had to do with these contracts. It had to do with this marriage. So I feel like there was a, there was a partner, there was a king of cups that was heartbroken um, about this divine contract and felt like he lost that moon energy. It felt like he lost the divine feminine. Maybe he was hiding things. Yeah, all they, it's wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment is coming in for you, Ten of Cups. Wish fulfillment. 
wish fulfillment. You're getting this beautiful, happy family and everything you could have ever wanted. Ten of Cups, it's like ultimate completion. So just have patience with yourself as you're tempering out these energies. You just got all these light up upgrades. Again, you're, this is a major activation. You're being rebirthed. So have patience as you temper out these energies. There was a lot of... Um, there was a lot of loss. A lot of you guys were kept in poverty. We were kept in those sacrificial energies. And there was like a lot of loss. There was a lot of loss from the past and you're needing to heal from this. The, uh, the King of Cups might have had a lot of loss. That might be why they were hiding. Um, they could have just felt at a loss without your energy. And maybe that's why they're wanting to come in with communication. So you guys take this how it resonates. Yeah, King of Pentacles. So we have more. We have Earth energies here. Um, they have this beautiful divine contract again. This is a. This is a contract. This is a marriage. Look, he's got it. Is he holding it? it? It looks like a microphone. I was like, is that a scepter? But it looks like a microphone. This King of Pentacles is going to speak. He's going to speak his truth. He's got. Um, he wants to talk about it. He wants to talk about it. So we've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. This King of Pentacles wants to speak his truth. So um, he's maybe he's tempering out these energies right now. They, they're coming in with truth. Yeah, the Sword of Truth. Um, this Ace of Swords, it was in reverse. So they might not have been speaking their truth, but they're coming in with this truth. Again, uh, they're wanting to speak their truth, just like I said. And it all has to do with this love. So they're wanting to bring in love for you. This love is coming in for you. And this is the four of wands love. This is a marriage. This is a stable, stable union. I think, look, look at the, we got the 10 of the wands underneath that. Like they were really having a hard time with this. Like it was, a, it was a struggle for them to get this together, to communicate this, um, to maybe to see past the illusion. It could have been a struggle for you to see past illusion. Um, as you're coming up to this very stable energy of this superior, this wish fulfillment. See, what you did is you gathered all your wands together. You were quite capable of this. You're like, no, what, you know what? I've got the tools. I can sling this over my back. I've got this little pouch. I can stick it in. No worries. You know what? It's not even heavy anymore. I've got this. I'm going to carry this up the hill and then I'm done. I'm complete with this task. This is a lot of energy that you worked through. This is a lot of energy that you were worked through to able, um, to, to a lot of a lot of you guys it was to not hold back anymore this could be for this uh, divine partner to not hold back anymore the devil yeah because somebody was terribly tempted by you and they just want to come in the, like the devil the devil uh, the pair is tempted and they want to come with the knight of wands energy for some of you guys this could have been somebody in the past but again this is what's coming in over the next four to six months so someone is terribly tempted by you Capricorn energy. This could be a Capricorn. They could have a very strong Capricorn placement. But either way, they're just they're they're just obsessed. This is obsession. They're obsessed and it's it's uh, passionate. Passionate obsession. Knight of Wands. So they want to come in with this passion, this stability, this love. So they're not just a knight of wands, they're knight of cups. They've got love and passion for you. They're stable. Earth energy. They love you. King of Cups energy. Emperor energy. Very, very powerful, divine masculine. Very, very um capable very very um well again controlling can be a little controlling but definitely definitely very capable so we're going to go ahead and uh, shuffle these cards now to you and we're going to get you some star codes astro Just shuffle them up a little bit here i shuffle them where you can see them but i ran out of my <laughs> my stuff on the board here let's see can we Oh, we're out of room. All right, let's see. We're going to get just a few more messages from Archangel Michael. This, okay, this looks like you're charging your destiny. You're changing your destiny. Your destiny has changed. You're, you're stepping up to beautiful sovereignty. You're getting this wish fulfillment. This is a golden contract. This is stability. This is stability in finance. This is truth coming in for you. And some of you guys, this is divine partnership coming in for you. That's like obsessed with you and, uh, and just so much in love with you and very passionate over you and this is wish fulfillment for both of you so they're maybe taking some time to temper out these energies right now as it seems like it's a very a, quite a bit of a passionate energy that's too many cards let's try that again archangel michael please help me get the right amount of, that's too many cards again all right we're just going to do it this way this card yeah somebody was in a lot of discomfort over this debilitated they were obsessed they were debilitated over this. Again, as I said, it was like a really big struggle for them. They felt left out in the cold. They didn't know what to do. Um, they're not sure how to do it. And they were feeling some discomfort. This discomfort could have been to do with this great change that's happening, this changing the destiny. 
this renewal, this supernova, you being going supernova. So some of you might may have needed to rest, but that's what I'm feeling is this this passion. I just wanted to come in. It's feeling great discomfort. Um, let's see. Yeah, because we've got um, cancer energy. Yeah, they're just feeling super emotional and they want to explore these options with you. So we've got, and we've got 444. This is divinely protected by the angels. And for some of you guys, you're going to be able to exploring the world and immersing yourself in different cultures. And this will be coming in for you in the next four to six months. You're going to be exploring. Uh, this could be an actual journey. Yeah, this could be actual travel for some of you guys. This is going to be a wish fulfillment as well. And then we're going to go ahead and just split. Yeah, abundance. Abundance is coming in for you. Four to six months. We've got some abundance. Jupiter energy. Jupiter energy. Very stable. Very stable. Very bounteous. Because these solar flares have activated this Jupiter, uh, this Jupiter energy, this abundance energy that you hold within. And you're, in your, standing in your north node. You're following your north node. And this is what's bringing you to this beautiful completion. So you're following your north node and it's creating great change. And you're going to step into your authority. It's creating great change and you're going to be stepping into your authority over the next four to six months. And there's incoming communication. There's love incoming. There's, this is an alliance. This is an alliance. And we've got Sagittarius energy right here. This Sagittarius, I've been seeing that Sagittarius bow and arrow coming together. Right underneath that, I've got this community, this community. So this, um, this coming together, these, these people coming together in community as you're expanding, as you're rising up, as you're changing, you guys are connected in the spirit realm and well, this is an action and moving forwards, but this could be a Sagittarius as well. There could be a Sagittarius coming in for you, a Cancer. We've got Cancer energy here as well. Um, yeah, you weren't afraid to heal yourself. There's great healing coming in over the next four to six months. Let's see if there's anything else Archangel Michael wants to tell us about what's coming in. Let's get some, get some extra charms here, guys. That'll be fun. What do we got? Comfort. You've got comfort and safety coming in. You've got this beautiful comfort and safety of home. You're going to be relaxed. Um, oh my gosh, we've got two turtles. So there's definitely a partnership. Two turtles. There's definitely a partnership. So there's a partnership coming in. There's love. This is a royal starseed love. We have the Florida Lees. We have the royal starseed and we have this heart chakra awakening. So there's definitely love coming in for these royal starseeds, for this Leo energy, right? And then we've got the mermaid looking out over the ocean. And then we have, it's isn't gonna be a depth of emotion. So I'm feeling water energy. I'm feeling queen of cups energy. And then we have a little boy here. We have this inner child. So someone's gonna be healing their inner child. There actually could be someone younger coming in, or this could be, um, this could be someone having a child or healing their inner child. What I'm seeing here is the divine masculine and divine feminine coming together. So we've got um, the divine masculine and the divine feminine coming together. Yeah. That's what's coming together. There's a partnership. It's a partnership coming into you over the next four to six months. It's going to be blossoming this heart through this. You're going supernova through this Orion activation. You're connected to the Order of Melchizedek. This is a royal order. It's a royal starseed. Royal starseed order. And um, that's beautiful because you're going to be blossoming abundance and following a north node. Is there anything else you want to tell me, Archangel Michael? Yeah, it's a heart chakra awakening. This love is coming in for you. Unblocking and generosity. Someone's going to be giving to you generously from their love. So just take some time to, to retreat, to recharge, to refresh your soul right now as you've been going through this initiation process and trust, trust the process that this is coming in for you. Trust the process that this is coming in for you, that all your good deeds are bringing this good in for you. Embrace this sensitivity. These are Lemurian seed codes that are coming in right now. You're embracing your uniqueness and living in grace. And this is what's bringing in this incredible change for you. There are evolutionary downloads coming in with Arcturian light codes. You're recalling your power and future thinking. Yeah, they were definitely thinking of the future. This is lovely what's coming in. Um, yeah, divine alchemy and conscious manifesting. So you're consciously manifesting this abundance following your north node. And you're getting this uh, this beautiful emperor energy definitely coming in. This, uh, this divine partnership is coming in for you over the next four to six months. That's an incredible 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 message also at the bottom of the deck Archangel Michael has just wanted me to show you this seraphim gateway this is a gateway Orion activation gateway a seraphim gateway your voice is being activated you're getting angelic attunement and divine support you are divinely supported through this powerful change and the right underneath that we have this serious star blessing so you're blessed by Sirius these blessings are coming in over the next four to six months and this is a yes Yes, proceed, be seen, push through. Um, this is incredible. And Pleiadian right underneath that. 
Palladian activation coming coming together. You're coming together. Harmony in the heavens and resolution. This this is coming together. This is a resolution. This is a higher heart activation. They're dropping their shields and this divine love is coming through for your now for you now because your heart is healed. This is the truth. This is Archangel Michael's sword of light. This is the truth. You are divinely protected. Those cords were cut. This is breakthrough energy. Breakthrough energy that's coming for you because this is this Kashik Stargate that we're going through. You're aligned with your purpose. There's this is a crossroads and there is no wrong path. This has come up in every single reading. So please check out the other uh, groups if you felt called to them in any way, shape, or form. But there is no wrong path. You can't do this wrong. You're going to get this partnership. It's going to be beautiful. Um, it's coming in over the next four to six months. This is an incredibly powerful message. I'm so excited to share it with you. You guys, let me know how it resonates or just drop me a comment below. Be sure to hit that like button for me on the way out. Thank you for all your likes, shares, your donations, your subscriptions. You're purchasing a personal reading. I'm ever so grateful for you. I'm sending you so much light and love, and I'll talk to you soon.